hello guys and welcome to another video and today we have some mod tips where i'll be showing you my favorite mods in the game there is a total of 10 mods so i'll be ranking them from 10 to 1 and i'll let you know how they work so that you guys can pick the best ones that fits your playstyle before we start i'm gonna tell you guys about an awesome website that you will find useful especially if you're a youtuber you will notice in most of my videos that i use memes and music and sound effects so instead of using softwares to download them i use a website called download4.cc this website allows you to download media from youtube facebook instagram tiktok and many more and i'll show you guys how i download mine from youtube after you find the video you want click share from here then copy the link now go to the browser in your device and go to download4.cc paste the link of the video in this box and click download if you need more formats then click here this will provide more options for you including audio and even a silent video once you decide which formats you need just tap and hold on the download button and this will bring up these options now click download link file and and that's it this applies to all devices whether you're on ios or android and if you're on pc then just right click on the download button it's very convenient and fast and it allows me to edit my videos much faster i highly recommend it to you guys i'll leave a link to it in the description now let's go back to the video in number 10 we have the sloth mod some players might be surprised on why I placed a golden mod in rank 10. But just because it's a golden mod doesn't mean it's the best. There are two glitches with this mod and both of them makes it much stronger. So this mod reveals the location of the enemies when you damage them. First of all it highlights the enemies by this red outline which lasts for 2 seconds. Now the first glitch with this mod if we check the description it says that it will reveal their location on the minimap for 5 seconds. But it actually reveals it for 10 seconds. The second glitch will blow your mind because it can grant you a legal wall hack. And big thanks to Nocho for sharing this glitch with me. So if you have the sloth mod equipped to your gun, like in this example I have it on my HVK. Then I used the gun to destroy the traps that were deployed by the enemy. As a result I was able to reveal his location for the entire game. Not only they will be always highlighted in red, but also their location will always be exposed on the minimap. This glitch works on any class that's deployable like the zombie class or airborne or defender and so on. And you can mark as many enemies as you want as long as you destroy their classes using the sloth mod. Another example here I destroyed the drone of the second enemy and now I can see him too. And both of their locations will be visible on the map for the entire game until they die. I can see them inside buildings, behind rocks and even when they're prone on the grass. So for now this mod is actually broken but it will be useless by next update once Activision sees this video. In number 9 we have the muffled mod. This mod will hide your gunshots from the enemies on the minimap and the compass. And it works at any distance. It's mostly useful for mid to long range fights. Because in close range even though your shots are hidden from the map and the compass, the enemy can still hear you and locate you easily. In number 8 we have the extend mod. This mod has two functions. First of all it increases the mag capacity and second of all it reduces the reload time. There are 5 versions of this mod and you can see the difference between all of them here. Now regarding the golden extend mod which is also known as the void mod it has the highest mag increase and the fastest reload time. But that comes with a price because every time you reload any remaining ammo will be discarded. And to make it even worse there is a glitch that comes with this mod. So instead of discarding the remaining ammo this mod will discard bullets equal to the mag capacity. So in this example I have an AK-47 with 60 bullets mag. Then I shot 27 bullets and I was left with 33. After I reloaded the mod discarded 60 bullets instead of 33 three bullets so avoid using the void mod otherwise you will run out of ammo before you can even finish off a squad especially if you're addicted to reloading like me and use the purple version of the mod instead until they fix it In number 7 we have another golden mod which is the slider mod. This mod slightly increases the accuracy and also significantly increases your movement speed. It also reloads one bullet every time you slide. But that's not it, they forgot to mention that this mod increases your slide duration or distance. So in here I'm gonna slide without using the slider mod and as you can see my slide was 4 meters long. Now after I equip the slider mod the slide distance will increase by 1 meter making it 5 meters total. 
This mod is perfect for shotguns as it will provide you with infinite ammo as you keep sliding and at the same time your slides will be longer therefore making it harder for the enemy to hit you. In number 6 we have the long shot mod. As most of you know the gun starts losing damage at longer ranges. So this mod will increase the range of your gun which means it will have higher damage at longer distance. Something weird I noticed about this mod when I was in the lobby before the game starts I managed to find 4 versions of it shown here. But in the actual game I only found the purple one. So it's either I'm extremely unlucky or Activision forgot to add the other versions. Anyway we're gonna test the purple one against an enemy at 50 meters range just to show you how it works. So without the long shot mod my AK-47 dealt 14 damage. Now let's try with the mod. As you can see I managed to deal 19 damage and if we add up the total damage in a single mag let's say 30 bullets capacity mag you will end up having an extra 150 damage and instead of killing an enemy with 11 bullets you will kill them with 8 bullets instead. I suggest using this mod for all type of guns including the sniper rifle. Having plus 100 range doesn't mean that they have the maximum damage at all ranges. They have damage drop just like any other gun. In number 5 we have the runner mod. I already talked about this mod in my previous tips and tricks video. So this mod will give you a speed boost after opening and closing your scope. This boost will last for 5 seconds. And then you'll have to wait 16 seconds before using it again. I don't really use this mod much, but I think it's really good for Russian enemies and surprising them with the boost. Also, don't forget that it grants you a fixed mobility increase. In number 4 we have the flash mod. Equipping this mod to your gun is like having a mini defender shield. And it's extremely deadly at close range fights. So this mod stuns the enemy once you open your scope. When you get stunned you will be blind for 1 second before starting to get your vision back. And it fully dissolves within 3 seconds. Also the stun has a limit of 15 meters so you can't stun enemies beyond that. And finally the flash mod has a cooldown of 30 seconds before you can use it again. We arrived to the top 3 mods starting with the dense mod which is probably the most used mod in the game. Not only because it's good but also because it can be found easily. This mod increases the accuracy of the gun both the ADS accuracy and the hipfire accuracy. And there are 4 versions of it. So in this example we have an AK-47 without the dense mod. And as a result we got this bullet spread. Now we'll test with a purple dense mod. And as you can see with the help of the dense mod we managed to reduce the bullet spread. Now this might not look like a big difference to you but that's because I tested it at close range. It's mostly effective at longer ranges because you will have less hitbox to aim at and the bullets tends to spread more. So this mod will help you hit more of your shots. In number 2 we have the stabilizer mod. What makes it special is the fact that it increases both the control and the accuracy of your gun. This mod comes in 4 versions. And to give you an idea of how it works, we'll see the recoil pattern of my AK-47 without the stabilizer mod. Now I'll use a golden stabilizer mod. If we put them next to each other, you can see the huge difference mainly in the vertical recoil. Which means it will be extremely easy for you to control your gun. And the winner of the video is the QRF mod. This mod is basically the dense mod on steroids. It also increases the ADS and hip fire accuracy of your gun and if we compare the purple dense mod to the golden QRF mod, you will notice that the dense mod increased the accuracy of my AK-47 to 91 while the QRF mod increased it to 87. So why did I put the QRF in rank 1 despite having less accuracy buff? That's because the accuracy of the QRF mod can be increased by damaging your enemies. The more damage you deal, the higher accuracy you'll get. Sadly there's no 
way for me to find the exact increase or the maximum accuracy limit that can be achieved by this mod but I can tell you that it makes a huge difference and your gun can start lasering enemies within one second of damaging them this mod is best for SMGs LMGs and most importantly assault rifles and perfect for solo squad players as you will most likely be facing two to four players at the same time and your shots will be more accurate as you knock players down Most of you haven't heard about this mod because they haven't released it yet. Well technically they kind of did but by mistake as they added it in Alcatraz map back in season 12 but they removed it right away. Even though this mod was mentioned in the patch notes of season 13 they still haven't added it yet but I got the chance to test it when I found it in the loot box of one of the bots I killed in Alcatraz. And I'll show you how it works so that you guys are prepared once they release it. So in this example I have two AK-47s. The main one has the reloader mod equipped to it. Now check Check the second AK-47, you will notice that it has 43 out of 50 bullets. And if I wait for 5 seconds, the gun will reload automatically thanks to the reloader mod. The question here, is this mod useful? I mean yes, it can be useful for aggressive players as it will help you have more ammo for longer fights. But there are still better mods that I would use over it. I hope you guys found this useful and I hope I answered all your questions about mods. If you do find it useful then consider leaving a like and sharing it with your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.